but I ain't seen no hate behind Cartier shades. I ain't riding no way. Pay, but I ain't seen no hate behind Cartier shades. I ain't riding no way. Hey guys, it's Quozy. I know it's been a while since I posted, but I haven't really been feeling games right now. I kind of just find them boring. So sorry about that, but I have been enjoying editing. I made this pretty sick effect, and I'm going to show you how to do it. All right. So the first thing to do is sync your clips. So I'm kind of assuming you guys already know how to do that, but just a quick run through. You're going to open the waveforms on your song and find the beat. So the beat is right here. I go one frame before just to make sure that it looks better. I find it does. Anyway, so pretend these ones are all the same clip, right? That would be together. Then once you find the and sync it, split it on the kill and where they pull out their shotgun. So you see how that's like still not fully out yet and the wall is still there. Wait for it to disappear and boom, right there, that's when. I could have added a few more frames, but it's okay. Anyway, so once you have all of that done, we're going to add the simple Twixter. So for this, it's just a super easy slow-mo. Let me get rid of these waveforms. So just where the clip starts, where they pull out their shotgun when you split it, set it to 40, five frames before the kills, put another keyframe for 40, and then set it to where the kill happens. So for me, it's 630. So pretty easy Twixter. Next, you're going to duplicate that twice and then pre-comp uh, the two times. So here's the dupes. Anyways, for this one, it's pretty simple. So the effects are Twixter. So it's going to have the Twixter from before. You're obviously going to rotor brush it in order to get the skin glow. I'm going to assume you know how to ro rotor brush uh, simply, but just to do it quick, I can show you. So if we just duplicate that, then you select this thing and then double click and then you can draw on it and it's going to select the things that you draw. And then to delete this part, you hold alt and do it. And then you just got to go frame by frame. So go one frame forward and make sure it's all good. It will do it. Try to do it automatically for you like that, but sometimes it doesn't work. But anyways, just repeat that process and make sure it's pretty good. So you see, I could fix this here, but I'm not going to do that because I already have it done. So just rotor brush it and then you have this. So to start the effects, what we are going to have is, I did not mean to do that. I meant to do this. We're going to have the edge colorize. So this is going to find the edges of the character and colorize them. So just make sure the background stays as black and you can pretty much choose any color you want. Just make them all like somewhat the same. So light red to dark red or light blue to dark blue, light purple to dark purple. And some people like to put this down to one. I find that it doesn't look as good, at least for this color. So I just kept it. At, I just kind of played around with it and kept it at 5.38. And the next color, the next effect is edge glow. Pretty sure I kept this all the same. We can check quickly. So no, I actually changed the edge detect to 400 just to give it a little bit more of a glow. But if you like this better, you can keep it like that. So again, just play around with it. The only thing I play around with is the edge detect. Next one is deep glow. I'm pretty sure I kept most of this the same other than maybe the radius. So... Now it looks like the only thing I changed was the unmolt right here and the smooth blending. So that's how you do that, literally. That's all it is. So pretty simple effect, right? Raise is the only one that I really touched a lot, but it's really simple touching. I just dragged all the lengths down to zero, and then increase the brightness. And what this does is I can just show you, kind of just gives it a little bit of like the lava effect almost. So watch. See how much better it looks with the rays. Or you can make them like kind of come out a bit. So if we just increase the length of them, it's not that. Then we can see that the rays are coming out, but I don't like that. So I just set them, I mean, it's good for some things, but for this one, I just set them all to zero and just leave it like that because I think that looks much better. 
Then on the second one, I pretty much delete everything except for the edge colorize and edge glow. And that's just adding a little bit of extra brightness to it. And if you want even more brightness, you can actually drag it above and then change the mode to add. And that's going to add even more brightness to it compared to when it was below. So I show both in the beginning. Let me know if you can tell the difference. And but for now, we're just going to keep it on normal because I do like that a tiny bit better, but it depends on the color for me and stuff. So once you have all those effects done, you're going to go back into here. And for the start of the clip that doesn't have Twix or anything applied to it, you're going to apply Hue Sat Bright. So obviously you need Sapphire plugins, Uni Universe plugins, and Deep Glow plugin and Twixter. And so you're just going to apply Hue Sat Bright and drag the saturation down. So at five frames before the slow-mo starts, it's at 100. And then where the slow-mo starts, it's at zero. And then five frames before the slow-mo starts, the opacity is at 100. And at the slow-mo starts, it's at 20. And then keyframes for the first original clip without the roto brushing is the Twixer that I shown. And then the opacity is just set to 20 right where it starts. One frame before the kill, it's at 20. And then a couple frames after, it's at 100. It's going to add a tiny increase, but it's still going to be like a pop. You see that? It's not really doing much. So really, you could drag it over. I just like doing it just in case something happens. And you never know. And then for the last part of the clip, which is after the kill, I didn't add any special effects, but you guys definitely can, and I would recommend it. So I just did a tiny screen pump. Scale is at 120 on the kill, and then I believe 20 frames forward. No, not even. One second. 10 frames forward, it goes back to 100. And that's pretty much the whole effect. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this. If you want any presets, let me know. I can leave them in the description after. I can re-edit it. And just let me know in the comments. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this because I'd be happy to do some. And thanks for watching. See ya.